your kind. My sister Elsie had gone on a picnic with my Auntie Jules. So I was at home and I had Grandpa all to myself. Captain Donald Twit off to save the universe. Meow. Calm down, Josh. Meow. Some guests were having breakfast on the balcony. Josh, quieten down a bit, will you? The dad is on the phone. Sorry. He's never off it. Those poor children. But at that moment they came in. I'll call you back. Yeah, all right, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Mr. Coalminder, this is Grandpa. Please oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah. And this is Caroline and Callum. Uh, welcome to Sunny Sands. So, what are you going to do today? Do you like lighthouses, Callum? He doesn't know. Well, do you like ice cream sundaes, Caroline? Um, well, I think... He doesn't know. Well, there's lots to see and do in Sunny Sands. Um, how about a trip to Mr. Whoops's shop? Great idea. Uh, hello. You'll love Mr. Whoops, and his shop is the best toy shop in the world. Yes, this was the day the coal minders called on Mr. Whoops. Josh, I'll meet you in the meadow by Queenie in five minutes. Coming! My word. Mr. Coal Minder has never missed a call, has he? That phone is glued to his ear. Those poor kids, he never even lets them speak. It's no wonder they don't know what they like or don't like. Well, we can help Caroline and Callum choose something from Mr. Whoops's shop, can't we, Josh? Something that they really like. Oh, sorry, Grandpa, but I think Queenie might be a bit overcrowded if you come too. Josh will be able to help Caroline and Callum choose. Oh, I'm sorry there's no room for you, Grandpa. Ah. But there is. <gasps> Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When my Grandpa shrinks, there's no stopping him. Back. He can run so fast you can't catch him, and his magic makes things go. So, he can travel about in the plane, and even in my helicopter. But today, all he needed to do was this. Get in, Grandpa, quick! So off we sailed down the river in Uncle CJ's boat, Queenie, towards Sunny Sands. And I whispered to Grandpa, you'd better behave, Grandpa. And Grandpa whispered, I always behave. We arrived at Mr Whoops' shop, opened the door, expecting to see Mr Whoops' jolly face, but... <laughs> that gave you a big fat shock, didn't it? It was great, Aunt Loretta. Oh, no. I'm looking after Mr Whoopsie's shop. His mother's poorly, so I've told him to go and see her. What a surprise. Well, since you're here, Loretta, I'll leave Josh with you. I've just got a few things to do at the beach hut. Oh. Who do we have here, then? <laughs> well, this is Mr Coalwinder, Caroline and Callum, and this is my great-aunt Loretta. You're my first customers. Come here. Come on. Come over here. We'll have a look around. There's so much to choose from. What's that? What? What? Hang on, hang on. Zombies. I'll just be outside, yeah? You choose something. So, what do you fancy? Catherine and Gallivan, eh? Caroline and Callum. I quickly opened my backpack and released Grandpa onto a shelf. Just as one came. Quite. The poor kids can't get a word in edgeways with Loretta now. I love a puzzle, me. This one's lovely. It's got a squirrel on there. Have you decided, Colin? Oh, Loretta's name is Callum. No, 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 not a tray, no. Switch it off. You'll have to take control, Josh. Show the kids some toys that you think they'll like. OK. Do you like this? A microscope? Cool. Now. Much too grown up for you. But a microscope is marvellous. Why don't we go outside and look at the beach stuff? You might like that. 
So, I took Caroline and Callum outside. Oh, this is impossible. And Grandpa had a plan. A plan to distract Great Aunt Loretta so Caroline and Callum could do their choosing. First, he hid behind a toy parrot and went... Squawk! Be quiet! Squawk! I'll shop you. Next, Grandpa made a jingly rabbit jingle. Now, what's that mean now? Well, you can push up. Good grief, anyone would think the place was alive. I decided to show Caroline the dressing up clothes. A wizard costume? Now, the girls can't be wizards, Camomile. Caroline! And anyway, dressing up is a bit silly, isn't it? Dressing up is not silly. Grandpa had another plan. Right. He jumped down and ran into the storeroom. No. A nice word game or a card game or let me see... Oh, a knitting kit. Suddenly we heard... Ah! Oh, something's happened in the storeroom. Just then, Callum came back. How about this cowboy, Callum? Cool. I like cowboys. He's got a lasso and everything. Boxes <laughs> everywhere. Fallen off the shelf all on their own. Of course, I knew they hadn't fallen off on their own. They'd been pushed by Grandpa. Oh, would you mind giving me a hand in the storeroom, Mr What You Were Call? It's right over there. There's boxes all over the floor. Place is alive, I'm telling you. <laughs> I really want this cowboy, Dad. Oh, not cowboys. I don't like cowboys, Caswell. Callum! Dad! Callum ran to find his dad to plead for the cowboy. Now, I know I keep going back to the puzzle, but... Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm getting like Mr Whoops. Oh, thank you. Give me a hand to pick them up. There's a good girl. Just then, I saw Grandpa running out of the storeroom. So, I ran over to see him. Leave it to me to sort Loretta out. You get the others out of the shop for a bit. OK. Mr Coalminder and Callum came out of the storeroom. And Mr Coalminder headed outside to take another call. Leave Loretta to me. Why don't you go outside so you can really think about what you want? OK. Come on, Callum. I saw that Grandpa had gone, so I wondered what he was up to. At that moment, I found Grandpa's clothes. Oh, no! He was running around the toy shop in his pants. But then I saw him. Yeehaw! He was dressed in the cowboy doll's clothes. I went outside and left him to work his magic. Well, now, who is this as pretty as a picture? Me? Yes, you, ma'am. You got cheeks like rosy apples and lips like cherries so red. Who are you? Little Billy McNee, the size of a flea. That's me. Oh, a real teeny tiny talking cowboy. Ooh, uh. A cowboy's life is a life so free under the prairie sky. With the sun so bright, it's the life for me. I'm a prairie boy, am I? Gonna saddle my horse, gonna raise my hat. Good day to you, man. Now, how's about that? Gonna dance the night away. Neat the prairie sky. Giddy up, giddy up, yee haw, giddy up. Giddy up and away. Giddy up, giddy up, yee haw, giddy up. Giddy up all day. Well, the hold down, yo down, never ever slow down. Dance the night away. Giddy up, giddy up, yee haw, giddy up. Giddy up, hooray. A cowgirl's life is a life for me, under the sky so blue. If you weren't so small, we'd have a ball. I'd dance the night with you. Gonna saddle my horse, gonna raise my hat. Good day to you, sir. Well, how about that? Gonna dance the night away, neath the prairie sky. Giddy up, giddy up, yee-haw, giddy up. Giddy up and away. Giddy up, giddy up, yee-haw, giddy up. Giddy up all day. With a hoe down, yo down, never ever slow down. Dance the night away. Giddy up, giddy up, yee-haw, giddy up. Giddy up, hooray. And while I carried on dancing with Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa got back into his own clothes.
cowboy clothes back on the cowboy. Then Caroline, Callum and Mr Coolminder came back. I never knew dancing could be so much fun. And dressing up. And cowboys. And cowboys and dressing up. One more time, Josh. We were still dancing and Grandpa got into my backpack. Come on, Mr Watchman. Then Mr Coolminder handed Caroline his phone, which pleased everyone. The Coolminders went off to Miss Smiley's cafe for ice cream and Mr Whoops came back to the shop. So Great Aunt Loretta came home with us in Queenie. I'm just popping upstairs, Josh. When we got home... I ran upstairs as fast as I could. Grandpa jumped out of my backpack. Get off, Grandpa, quick! We did it, Josh. We helped Caroline and Callum choose. Yes, we did. And what do we call that? Teamwork! <laughs> oh, fancy! You're not having a lie down, Grandpa. Oh, I've had a day of it looking after Mr Whoopsie's shop. Have you really? <laughs> there was a teeny, tiny little cowboy doll. And he talked and he sang. Gave me quite a fright. I bet he sang giddy up, giddy up, yee haw, giddy, giddy up. Giddy, giddy up, up and away. away. Giddy up. How do you know that? Oh, from my cowboy days, Loretta. From my cowboy days. Giddy up, giddy up, yee haw, giddy up. Giddy up.